Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic. Welcome to a Realistic Toddler Mum weekly vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name's Liv. I'm a 26 year old first time mum battling depression. In today's video, we are on Mission Mama Glow Up. We will also be starting the Garden Spring Makeover. I'll show you some affordable mum outfits and my new makeup, and of course, lots of tantrums in between. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well and having a lovely week so far. We are currently just starting today, a little weekly vlogs so will just take you along with us on our week of being a toddler mum and everything that comes with that. The plan today is to head to the shopping centre. I want to get some new makeup because I just feel like a bit of a slug at the minute is the best way to describe it. So I want to get some Charlotte Tilbury bits. Um, I'll see if they'll let me record in the store. If not, I'll just show you what I get. But I've seen so many good things about the Charlotte Tilbury makeup and I thought, you know what? This mama needs a treat. So I'm going to get some new makeup. I'm going to also see how Arlo is, but he does need a haircut. And obviously, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know getting a haircut for him is not easy. Like no matter what situation, whether we have people come around our house, whether we go to the places with the little cars, it always ends in the same way. So I think we're just going to take him with his dad and try it like together, see whether that helps. And then I'm going to take you into Primark because I've seen so many nice things in at the moment for spring summer. I want to get this like really nice grey blazer um, and I'll just take you along with me because my store is amazing it's got four floors so I'm just going to pick some like top bits to show you and yeah come on a little girly shopping date with me going to get a coffee as well Mikey's coming with us he's in a bit of a grump today so I feel like I need your emotional support with me today but yeah we are heading there in a minute we've also got a lot going on this week in terms of like getting the garden ready for spring my mum's got some time off work so she's going to come round and help do some bits in the garden she's more of like the gardener than me um everything that i know is taught from her and then a lot of sorting out things in the house decluttering getting admin things ready as well and fingers crossed we're getting our washing machine fixed this week because it has been so difficult with a toddler as you can imagine the amount of washing we go through each week just to like have it build up over a couple of weeks has just been really really bad but my lovely nan and mum have been helping me out to get everything washed but it's just one of those things i'm really excited to go shopping and yeah i'm just gonna pop on the camera and do like a little montage take you with me um oh grumpy guts is coming towards the car now so Busy shopping centre with a moody partner and tantrum in toddler, what could go wrong, eh? First mission today is getting Arlo's haircut, which I am dreading. We ended up waiting around for about half an hour. I gave him a lollipop, which obviously I monitored him eating very closely, but I wanted to try and help him associate the hairdressers with more positive things rather than just the fact it makes him cry. So it went okay, if I'm honest. I mean, it, it wasn't nice or pleasant like he was screaming and crying but he did give the hairdresser a high five at the end and he didn't like resist as much like he just sort of sat there and got upset rather than trying to wriggle around so we managed to get it done quicker because of that you know i'm here to stay every single day Then it was time to go and get some lunch. Everyone was absolutely starving. So we went to Ask Italian because we had some club card vouchers to use. Arlo was just in a bit of a funny mood. He was like throwing things on the floor, scrunching up the menu. So it was a bit of a battle, but it was okay. And the problem is as well, they got his food order wrong. So they, I had to wait for them to remake his food and bring it out. And then it was like boiling hot and we'd already finished our food. Um, but they did take it off the bill at the end, but it was just a bit of a nightmare when you've got like a hungry tantrum in toddler. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mikey and Arlo have headed off to try and hire like a little car that he can go around the shopping centre in and I've popped into John Lewis Charlotte Tilbury's stand and I'm just getting my makeup done and trying to pick the new products that I want to get and if I'm honest I usually go to Superdrug and I haven't really bought makeup I don't think in about a year and it's all like just <laughs> horrible but I wanted to treat myself to some new makeup and I thought you know what like we go out to buy a clothes, we might like go for food or get our nails done or get a coffee but we don't really spend time or money on our face and like having high quality makeup I mean I don't anyway I normally just get like cheap stuff but this stuff on the left is what I bought and then on the right are things that potentially I'll come back for that she used on me but it just felt so nice to just have a little bit of a pamper and obviously it was pricier than go into super drug or boots but I am so glad that I've done it just to do something for myself and we popped into Primark Mikey's just disappeared I don't even know where he's gone probably looking at the football scores so I'm just going to try and film as much and just try and find as many good finds as I can with Arlo these are my pajamas by the way that I always wear and they've got them in different colors they're so good I think I want to get the these ones here like the creamy ones because they're so nice and 11 pounds for the top there's so many nice pyjamas in Primark, I feel like I spend the majority of my time just in the pyjama section. But I will show you anyway all the different floors, there are so many nice things. Old days, I used to think I'm the problem Primark have some lovely new spring things in at the moment and quite a lot of sale things to make space for the new collection. Some mini skirts that wouldn't even go around my arm. I grabbed a bargain 15 pound oversized blazer, this one, and I'm a little bit obsessed with the blazer and flare jean combo at the minute. So that went straight in my basket. And our girl Rita Aura has come through this season with her new collection. I'm obsessed. I love the tops. I can just picture them with like a boozy brunch outfit or something like that. But then again, I don't even really like leave the house without Arlo, so probably wouldn't wear it. Hopping up to the kids floor in a second, Mikey has chased Arlo out of the store as he was running out the shop. I don't need anything from these floors but I just thought I'd go up anyway to show you. There are some really cute baby things in at the moment and girls things, but at the moment not many toddler boy things. I feel like as a toddler boy mum you sort of expect that though so it doesn't really surprise me. All of Arlo's clothes I mostly order online from H&M and Zara with the odd bit from Asda, George and Primark. The home floor was looking very colourful, lots of spring fresh patterns, pastel shades, a bit too bright for a sad beige mum like me, um, but I still appreciated it. I really wish I was a colourful girly, and I see it in loads of people's houses, but I, it's just not me. It just isn't me. If I have colour, I have like a maybe like a pastel green in my house, but not really much colour apart from Arlo's room, which is obviously full of colour and so is his playroom but our Primark is just so big and it's just so dangerous every time you go in there you have to like literally rein yourself in hold yourself back and just try and stick to like what you came in for and I'm just obsessed with it to be honest I try and stay away as much as I can because 
otherwise I'd just end up spending too much money. But I came out today with like three items, which I was quite impressed with, but I will share everything with you when I get home, probably tomorrow or the next day and I'll style everything for you as well, but I've got such a cute, affordable outfit for you. We've also got a fully loaded Disney Kids section, which is so amazing. Back down to where the beauty salon is to pay, and I also went to H&M, bought the very popular linen trousers, which I think have been going viral. I also got robbed in Starbucks by buying like a three pound cake pop for Arlo that he was screaming for and he wanted an Easter cake and I just got that as well and I ended up spending like eight pounds on just stupid cake things, which is annoying. But anyway, sometimes you just gotta pick your battles. Arlo's just very, very tired and trying to get him in the car when he's in this like really overtired state is just so difficult. But moving on to the next day now, my mum has actually come round. Arlo's been at nursery for half a day. We've gone to pick him up and we're just gonna be working on trying to get this garden spring ready. I'm gonna be tackling jet washing all of the patio and also the deck in and my mum and Arlo are going to be doing the flower beds so stay tuned for some satisfying jet wash footage. So today's actually been such a good day. We've got so much done in the house. It's been really productive. My mum came over unexpectedly, um, like we arranged it yesterday. And she came over and just helped me all day, just get things sorted in my house to try and get myself in a better mindset. She took me to the shops. I'll show you in a second. She filled up my fridge. She does this like once a month and it just makes such a difference. And she helps me with things that have been piling up. Like last month, she helped with the lofty clutter. Um, you might remember the video, but today she's helped me um, do the garden and it was a hard job, like we've got it ready for spring, almost, just need to cut the grass, it was just a bit too wet to do that. But her and Arlo were like 
doing the flower bed, digging up all the weeds. And then my job was to grab that power washer, that jet washer, and literally jet wash all the patio and all of the decking. And oh my God, it's made such a difference. It looks like a completely different garden. I cannot wait till it gets a little bit warmer and then I can just get like my sofa cushions out and just, I'm gonna get some new fairy lights as well because the other one's got chewed through. So I'm excited for the warm summer evenings pending. I also have got my prescription here. So we're gonna do it together because, and you know what? I'm gonna document how it makes me feel. This is gonna be about as raw as it gets on here. Sertraline, 50 milligrams. And these are the tablets. So I'm just gonna take one now. I'm a bit nervous because they just made me feel really, really sick to start with. So I'm just not looking forward to it. And then especially like, like just extreme emotional feelings, like deep feelings, deep dreams. So I'm just trying to think of the rewards past that point. The next few days might be a bit rocky, but we'll go on a journey together and navigate it. Okay, shall I do it? I'm scared. done i'll let you know how i feel i've currently just made a salmon stir fry this is like such an easy meal I just use the like egg noodles stir fry sauce the sweet chili salmon this one was actually reduced to four pound 18 so i'm excited to get that in my belly and then my mum has literally filled up all my fridge she's such an angel helped me sort out my washing she also brought me back six loads six loads of washing so i am fully up to date and then i decided to go through my wardrobe because there was uh, quite a bit of like mold and dampness in there so i've taken all the clothes out of my wardrobe she's going to wash them and i basically just i'm not going to use that wardrobe until it gets a lot warmer i've also taken the toy storage unit out of that wardrobe just as a precaution and just put it by my bed because the last thing i want is what happened to the wardrobe I'm going to catch up with you guys in the morning because I want to show you all my Charlotte Tilbury stuff and the um, things I got from Primark and H&M. Oh my god, I'm so excited to show you. Oh, honestly, that makeover made me feel like a new woman. Anyway, I'm just going to get my dinner now. <sighs> Fingers crossed, hopefully it's not a long night with these tablet side effects, but I will let you know either way. So, give me a <laughs> one word description of how you're feeling. Please, come on. We need to show. Sick. Sick. How out of zero to ten, how would you describe it? With how bad your sickness is. I'm probably like seven, but it's getting worse. Getting worse. And I feel like just my responses are all funny. I just feel like I'm on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't feel right. I need to go to bed. Yeah, you need to go to bed. It's alright. Anything else to add? No, let's turn the camera off. I'll catch up in the morning. Okay. Alright, guys. Pounding. 
Good morning, the sun is shining, I'm feeling positive. This morning was a rocky start because I felt like I woke up with a splitting headache and migraine in like one side of my head and I was feeling a bit sick and stuff. I think those tablets last night just like really knocked me sideways. Um, but I took a headache tablet and then as the day's gone on, it's about lunchtime now, as the day's gone on, I actually feel really positive and like I felt like I was in a better state and I was even able to like use my new makeup, do my hair and now I feel like in a better place to be able to now like go and tidy the house. Like for example, because I felt in a better place because of the tablets, I was then able to make a smart choice to make like a fruit bowl for my lunch and just put yogurt and fruit which in turn like helps my body feel better so it gives you like the energy and the mindset to be able to make better choices to make your life happier I guess but what I wanted to show you quickly before I go and start cleaning is my Charlotte Tilbury bag oh my god oh my god guys I'm so happy with everything in it and I've just done my makeup with it as well. I just think it looks so glowy, so natural. So let me just run through the products that I love. So this is the Magic Water Cream and this is like a hydrating gel moisturizer. I'll just get it out of the box for you. And it's just something like really nice, lightweight, and also um, just gives your skin like a bit of moisture so it's not dry. This is what it looks like. You want to go in with this, which is the SPF 50 Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. So this one is basically like a primer and an SPF just to protect your skin. So like on days where I don't really want to wear makeup but I want to look more put together, I'll put the moisturiser and the primer on and it will just give me like a bit of a... A natural glow. I'll open this one up and show you what it's like anyway. You can see there the colour of it. So it's kind of like a tinted primer moisturiser. So these two are perfect to use for days where you want to have something on your skin, look glowy, look fresh, but you don't want to like do a full face of makeup. So I love those two, that combination together. And then I got this one, which is the Hollywood Flawless Filter, and this is a hydrating foundation. It's not like heavy coverage. I mix it with my Fenty Beauty, like my Rihanna foundation, but it's kind of like, let me open it up to show you. It's very hydrating. So I mix that with my Fenty Beauty. And then all of these are being applied with this, which is the Hollywood Complexion Brush. I was just using like a beauty blender before, but speaking to the lady, she was like, it just leaves streaks. It doesn't give you that buffed in finish. So this little brush is what I've been using for everything, all of these products. And as you can see here, it's got like a speckled end. So when you're applying it, it literally buffs into your skin. So I use that. And then this is magic. This is so magic. So this is the Hollywood Complexion Brush. You can get it in more of like a bronzer, but I wanted to get it in more of like a um, glow, like blush. Put it on the high points here and a little bit here and then buff it in with your brush. And then the next thing I wasn't actually expecting to buy, but I don't think I can live without it now. Um, I just didn't even know what this was. So I've always struggled with my lips because I like something quite natural, maybe like a little bit of lip liner. So I found this magic lip oil and, oh my God, I've already put some of it on, but I'll put a little bit more on. So it looks like this. And as you can see, it just gives that really nice, natural, sort of like, I don't know, like plumped up Botoxy kind of lip. Um, so I love that and that's going to be something that I'll definitely bring into my beauty regime just like pop it into my bag when I go out and stuff and then the lady also popped in loads of like samples I've got the pillow talk pushing up lashes um, but they were the ones that I thought were the best out of everything so I'll put those ones down below as well in the description for you
there and help me do the garden. Let me just show you. I'm so happy with it. I need to just clean these bits here, like the slide and stuff, but the patio. Let me open the window. The decking, the patio. Even the bunny's hutch has been cleaned. Apart from, can you see there's one little bit there? And that's where the hose pipe was. It's so annoying, it looks like a little snake. But nevertheless, I'm so happy with it. And it's just like a job that I feel is off my mind ready for the warmer weather to start and i feel like i've actually brought on some like positive karma from doing it because today has been such a nice day it's still quite chilly in the air but it's like just nice to be able to open the windows and just let some fresh air in the house so i've just been having a little bit of a clean up but i thought i'd show you the bits that i got from primark and the stuff i got shopping the other day oh my god guys so I got a new pair of trainers, I got some Adidas Sambas and I wanted to get a pair that was like sort of springy, like kind of pastel-y. Um, so I got these ones and I just think they're so nice and they're going to be really versatile, like I can wear them with jeans or I can wear them up with like a blazer um, and I just love them, I just think they're so nice. So I got those, I'll link them below for you as well if you're interested. But all of these Adidas Sambas, I just feel like everyone's going wild for them at the minute. So I grabbed some whilst they were in stock. So I love those. And then I got these trousers, which I feel like I'm going to be wearing all summer. These trousers from H&M, and there were different styles as well. There was like sort of striped, pinstriped ones. These were £15.99. I mean, can you complain really? And there was a shirt, like a matching shirt to go over the top. And I just feel like they're so lightweight and they're gonna go with anything. So I love those so much. So I found some amazing bargains. I've got one more thing from H&M actually, it's just in the bag. If you know me, you know I wear the same blue jeans, which are slightly flared at the bottom that I absolutely love so much and i have found out that they actually do them in different like style in different shades so i've got like a light denim one um sorry there's something really dodgy going on out like in front of the house um i think there's a deal going on i've got these jeans here which are like a darker denim and these are 24.99 i get them in a 12 I'll put them on for you in a second just to show you, but they are honestly insane. I love them so much. And I also got this blazer. That was definitely, by the way, they've gone now. A car came in, two boys came out, Got one got in the car. There was like hand kerfuffling going around. And then the boy got out and the two boys left and the car drove off. That was definitely what we think it was. We were just party to a crime, guys. <laughs> Got this blazer in the sale, 15 pounds. It's a size 18, but it's so nice. I'm loving the oversized blazer look at the minute. It's totally my vibe. I feel like, I don't know, just think it looks quite cool as well. I don't know if I can pull it off, um, but I will show you anyway, the outfit together. And then I got this little bag, which is eight pounds. And I just thought, cause it's quite neutral. It could be just, I don't know, a universal bag. And I also got this, crop top which is seven pounds from Primark just to be like a staple piece and I thought like the jeans the white top are very versatile like I could put any sort of jacket on so I've just kept it on with the black crop top just because I think it still goes but it just feels like it really sucks you in and gives you that little boost on your booty as well and then let me try and show you the bottoms oh god right the bottoms are kind of like they're not skinny, they're sort of like mini flares. So they just look so stylish. And this is a size 12. I feel like it fits really well. <laughs> Jump in on my bed to show you. <laughs> so this is the outfit. I just really think it's nice. It's just like a staple everyday outfit. I could like go to the shopping center with it, wear it with trainers and just feel comfortable in it. And the jeans are so nice. I feel like they're quite flattering. They're still a, like a little bit stretchy um, and they're very true to size. I'm like a size 12 and these are my perfect size. I really find it hard to find jeans as well. So H&M are definitely pulling it out the bag for that one. But yeah, that's my little outfit. I hope you like it. <laughs> I'm wishing you guys a lovely Easter period. Make sure you eat lots of chocolate.
I won't be judging you if you're eating your kids chocolate because I'll be doing the same. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll see you guys on Sunday for a clean and declutter video. I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars